Good morning, everybody. Today I have a plan. Uh, I need to go to the uh, local Bagajera market, which is a vintage market. And it is located not far from Lisbon in Portugal. So let's go with me and uh, let's see what we can buy. There is an interesting selection of all cloaks with weights and little fairground figures. Very cute in a kind of naive style. And I believe that this camera would look great as interior decor. I'm not sure if it works, but it's beautiful as a way. What else caught my eye? Yes, this radio. I believe that it will look great on your bookshelves or in the office. What else caught my eye? Oh, this is salt box. I've seen this several times already. It seems to have been a popular thing in Portugal. It's quite heavy. Uh, and possibly made of brass. I also like this lantern. It seems to be missing its electric wire, but this is easy to fix. It has a very intriguing design. I also like the scales, which the seller is asking 60 euros for. They'd be great for storing fruits or maybe candies. What else do we have here? This piece intrigued me too. The seller is asking 20 euros for it. It's a bit old, but not ancient. There is a crest on it and one part is broken off, but it's not too noticeable. Uh, you, you could use it in a hallway for hanging bags, for example. Uh, overall, it's not bad. I like it. I'll try to negotiate and see how much the seller will let it go for.
There are also these vintage tennis rackets, which would look great as their uh, interior decor, especially if you love tennis. And prices for rackets in Lisbon are around 30-40 euros each. Check out this beautiful panel, such delicate craftsmanship. And the seller says uh, it's from Italy and it comes with a mountain bracket. He is asking 60 euros for this item. It's a good piece, but I think the price is a little bit high. He also has a console or perhaps a small shelf, which also seems to be from Italy. Here is another lovely wooden piece. It might also be a shelf, but I can't say for sure. I like this little wooden cabinet as well. You can tell it's handmade and a bit roughly done. The doors don't have glass, so you'd need to install some. I asked the seller how much this lovely cannons cost, and he said they are replicas, not old, and one costs 300 euros. So if you are into military decor or want something for your garden, uh, this is an interesting piece. I also asked about these wine bottles and he says they are from 1924 Porto wine, no less. You can buy this lovely vintage wine at the market and they are selling it for 70 euros. But honestly, 
It's 40 degrees out of here and everything is baking in the sun. I'm not sure I'd risk it, though. Would you buy a 1924 wine for 70 euros at a flea market? Let me know in the comments. So this is all for today. I bought three interesting items and I'll show them during my unboxing when I get home. Right now, I really want some ice cream because it's sweltering. Just so you know, there is a line at the Karkavelish market at the Santini ice cream stand. Santini is considered one of the best ice cream brands in Portugal, a family business. But honestly, I'm not ready to wait in line that long. So Santini will have to wait until next time. And for now, I'm heading home. I'm ready to show you my vintage finds, which I found yesterday on uh, Krakavelos Bagageira market. So I bought this amazing uh, milk jar and uh, sugar bowl. And what is interesting, um, I was thinking that uh, it should be she something like Sheffield made in England, but it turned out that there are no mark and uh, probably it's not silver plated. And my second find is this beautiful uh, hanger. Uh, probably it's good for the hall. So I can hang here my umbrellas or bags or something small. So I have no idea what is the region. I tried to Google it, but have no idea what it is. Uh, but it looks beautiful. I really love it. So this is all for today. Thank you so much and see you next time.